Hello guys, in this video I will be answering a question I received by email displaying this table, but it has a few challenges. So this is the email text, you can read it, you can pause and read it all, but I will summarize it for you. So there's products, colors and sizes tables, and the challenge is to have sizes in the table as dynamic columns. So it's not set in stone how many columns will there be. There may be two columns or six columns. And also, even if that color or that size doesn't have the record in the database, we still need to show that table cell, table row, and table column. So in this video, I will show you exactly how I did it. And also I decided that some of the videos on this YouTube channel will have premium versions on Laravel Daily Com. So for Laravel Daily Premium members, there is a text version of the same lesson with a bit more content. So in this YouTube video, I will show you the grouping and in the longer eight minute video, which is accompanied with this tutorial and GitHub repository, I will show you additionally how I seeded the data and how I avoided N plus one query problem. And also how I used string helpers of Laravel to populate this reference from code, uppercase color and uppercase size. This will be kind of intention to myself to create longer and more in-depth videos, which will be available for subscribers, but still providing the value for YouTube daily. So here's our controller. But before we get into that, let's start with the database structure. It's actually pretty simple. So migration for colors, migration for products, which is actually product type, more like product name, then migration for sizes, and this is the main table, product color sizes. It looks kind of like a pivot table for many-to-many -many relationship, but it's not used as pivot table in this example. It's just three foreign keys with reference number, which is generated in the seeders. So the result in the database is something like this, color, size, product, and 10 products seeded in my case. And the visual result is this. I've recreated that project and we're showing the product code, first two letters of color uppercase and size and empty cells if there's no record for that. So how to achieve that in the controller? Let's get back to our main solution point here. So in here we have so-called invocable controller, single action controller with just invoke method. And in the routes we have route get product with route model binding. So we have the product object from the database. We load the additional relationships because we are grouping by them. So this is the grouping by sentence and this sentence is for all the column names, dynamic headers for the columns. So we'll have for each of the sizes in the blade to show the table. And this will be our data. And look how it's done. We're getting the sizes, so we're getting all the records from this table by grouped by two level relationships. So product color size is actually, if we take a look at the model, this is has many relationship to that table. And then that table has relationships belongs to, to all the other tables. So we're grouping by product color size, color, or in fact, color name. And the result will be name as the key, which is exactly what we need for the table. Look, this one will be the key of our array and this one will be the value which we will iterate and show the data. So now if we go to the blade file of show blade, we have for each, as I said, in the table for headers and in the body we're doing for each of the color name, again, as I said, and we have color data. And then again, we repeat for each of the sizes and if there's a data for that color and that size, we show that. And this is the main syntax for that. So we have color data where, and that where goes through the collection, it doesn't query the database. So from that collection, we get the first record, and if that exists, we show the reference number. This is called null safe operator, appeared in PHP 8.0, and I hope you're all using at least PHP 8.0 or even newer versions. So this way we avoid if statement of that record existing or not. So this is an example of grouping by or searching by two level relationships. We have this table data in our collection and we group by color name and also perform the search where size name, all without touching the database because we're doing eager loading for both of them in the controller. 
So that's it for this video about grouping, but as I mentioned, there's also a premium version of that video, twice as long, where I explain additionally this load sentence to avoid n plus one query problem, and also how I seeded the data for those product sizes, including generating this string from a few strings with a string helper. If you want to become a premium member of Laravel Dailycom, the links are in the description below. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.